Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Shamus, and I am so happy that you hit play and are with me today. I am so excited, as I always am, and I really, really am. I'm always excited to be able to share God's word with you because that is what we are called to do as adults. We are called to make sure that you know what's in the Bible. And I'm going to be reading from this Bible. And this is just an adventure Bible, but we know the Bible is a treasure book of stories old and new. It tells us how to live our life and it shows us what to do. And the Bible we know is a true, true story. But before I get started with the Bible, I want to show you a few things here. And the first thing I wanted to show you was um, just a typical coin. This is a actual half dollar coin. Oh, and I'm not sure if you've ever taken a chance to look, but for those of you who can read, it says, In God we trust. In God we trust. And then I have another one. It's a, a dollar coin. I'm not sure if you've ever seen one like that before. And we know on all of our coins in the United States, it either has a former president or it has a landmark or an historical figure. Like you may have seen some with... um. Uh, a Native American on front of the coin, but there are different types of coins that uh, represent different important things for the country. And then I want to share some other coins from other countries. Um, this is a two euro piece from Europe. This is a euro from Europe. And then of course, I couldn't let this day go by without sharing a coin from the Bahamas. Look at that shape, right? Look at that shape. And that is the, um, what do you call it? Just the emblem of the Bahamas, the official coat of arms of the Bahamas. So all those things represent different countries and it tells you, or it is a part of the currency. And currency means it's what you can spend to get things. When you um, need something like food or shelter or a hotel, you, you use money to buy it. So in this story, I show you those coins because in Matthew 22, verses 15 to 22, it's about a story surrounded around a coin. And it's a coin with the face of the ruler of the land, Caesar. So the Pharisees, who are church leaders or synagogue leaders, they were trying to trick Jesus. Because we know Jesus' life was not easy. That's why we have hope, because we know not every day will be easy for us, because even Jesus didn't have an easy day. In this story, some people were trying to trick him into saying something that he should not say. So they asked him, they said, Jesus, tell us, should we pay taxes to Caesar? And in that time, it was a law. You had to pay taxes, just like it's a law here in the United States. And they told him, should we pay to ask him, can we, should we pay taxes to Caesar? And Jesus asked them, he said, whose face is on the coin? It's Caesar's. <laughs> whose inscription is on the coin? Uh, Caesar. He said, well then, you hypocrites, I know what you're doing. But you give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. And then they went away from him. Because he did not say what they wanted him to say. But what he did say was very powerful, boys and girls. Because they wanted Jesus to speak against the laws of the land. Which in turn would have put him in jail. Because he's not supposed to speak against. Like we should not speak up against our own country. So when they did that, Jesus already knew what they were trying to do. But instead he turned it around and taught them a lesson. Ultimately... God is in control even over Caesar. So they never even got what he was trying to tell them, but Jesus knew what he was trying to tell them. The things they were trying to do to get him to say, to trick him, to put him in jail, God was above it all. And everything that we have comes from God. Caesar doesn't control the world. So that is what I want you to remember today is that as we live out our life, as you do things from day to day, remember that God is in control. So he wants us to be generous. He wants us to be giving. He wants us to be loving. But ultimately, he wants us to have integrity and always speak the truth. Let us pray. 
dear Lord, we thank you for this wonderful story, and we thank you for showing us and teaching us all about the power and the glory that you have. Please help us at all times to not give in to temptation. Amen. So boys and girls, I am so happy that you were here this morning. And I pray if you're watching this on Sunday morning, uh, hopefully I will see some of you on Sunday afternoon on Grace Property between 2 and 4 p.m. Hopefully the weather allows us to do it. <laughs> but otherwise, if not, October 31st, drive-in movie at Grace Church. Um, we'll start coming into the parking lot at 5.15, and the movie will start at sunset between 5.45 and 6 p.m. So, so good to see you, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.